In this video, you will see how to solve x squared plus 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 0 by using the graphing calculator. The first thing we want to do is click the y equals 2 button in the top left hand corner of the calculator. And we're going to initially just enter in the quadratic x squared plus 2x minus 8. So we use the graph button. And what this will do is show us our graph. So our x-intercepts are where our graph crosses the x-axis or touches. So here we have a solution at negative 4. And here we have a solution at positive 2. For our particular problem, we want to know where is our graph greater than or equal to 0. So where, do, where does our y values equal to 0 or where are the y values greater than 0? So they're on this side of the graph on the left and on this side of the graph on the right. So when we're writing our answer for this problem in interval notation, we always go from the left side to the right. So the left side representing x here is our negative infinity. And all the way up until this, our x-intercept, that value is negative 4. So since we can actually equal 0, we use a bracket to symbolize that negative 4 is included in our solution. We use the symbol u, standing for union. Then our graph is also positive on this side of our graph. So starting at that x-intercept again, which is positive 2, once again 2 uses a bracket because it's included. We have an equal to sign. And everything else on the right hand side is also positive. So this is going to positive infinity. We always use parentheses on infinity because infinity is not a number. It's just a representation of a place. So another way we can see this answer, if you go back to y equals, you can actually enter in your inequality sign. So if you go to the end of the problem, where we want to go is under the test menu, which is right above math. So anything in blue, we need to press the second button first in order to get there. So we press second, and then the math button takes us to our test menu. We want greater than or equal to symbol, which is option number four. And we want this problem to be greater than or equal to zero. So now what the calculator would do, it was actually test each of the values to see if it is greater than or equal to zero. So once we graph now, the graph only shows us the portion of the x-intercepts where your y values are positive or zero. So as you can see on the left-hand side of our graph here, up until that value of negative 4, positive 2, all the way over to positive infinity.